Hello ladies and gentlemen, God's Woodsman here for you today. And it's spring here in the Rockies and there's all this green all over the place. And I can't imagine what it would be like looking over here and going, well, can I eat that? Can I not eat that? I think that, I don't know if that'll kill me. Is that, that going to hurt me? And there's so much here that you can eat that it's a great source of nourishment. It's got lots of vitamins in it, but knowing what to eat and what not to eat is extremely important. It's difference in life and death. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you one plant today that you can eat. And this is, I mean, you've seen them tons. They've been popping up in your yard all over the place. Coming up. Hope you guys stay with me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is what you're looking for, for this particular plant. The plant we're going to eat today is dandelion. And believe it or not, dandelion is actually an awesome green. I, I like it better than spinach, personally. But right in here, let me just zoom in for you so you can see. This plant right here is dandelion. Oops, let's move it up just a touch so you guys can see. There we go. This plant right here is dandelion. And these are the nice small shoots, and that's what's really what you're looking for. And you just pick these. I'm just going to put them in my little pot here. And the nice little small shoots are by far the best ones. And they grow practically anywhere, as you've seen them all through your yard. So I'll usually just collect some of these up. And you don't need a whole lot, but just, just collect some. And I'm just going to you know, pick a few while I'm talking to you, but you know they're all over the place. So dandelion greens. And what you're looking for in a dandelion green is a plant that looks sort of like this. It's got kind of a saw edge. But it is great for greens. And I usually just pick a pretty good little pile of them. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And then after I'm done with that, I'm going to take them back to camp and cook them. And they are awesome cooked. And there's more than one way to cook them. So coming up. If you guys had a hard time seeing what I was picking, this is what I was picking. This is a dandelion green. It's got kind of a saw edged. And this is a little big for what I want. You could still cook this, but you'd probably have to boil it and then reboil it. So I'm going to tend to go with a little bit smaller pieces. But awesome, awesome green. All right, now for those dandelion greens. What I'm going to do is just add a little bit of water to these and then just put them on the campfire to boil. Add just a little bit of water from the campfire. Don't even have to be completely covered. Now, we're just going to take those and let them boil for just a few minutes. There we go. In a few minutes, those dandelion greens will be ready to eat. Can't wait. Did you know that dandelion greens are packed full of vitamin A, vitamin C, iron, vitamin B6, magnesium, and calcium? Looks like those dandelions are getting there. Just about cooked. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call those dandelions done now. They just stopped boiling. And because of the way I put this on the fire, I can actually reach and grab this side. And it's not super hot. Now, the easiest way to eat dandelions, ugh, and my favorite way to eat them, is now we're just going to boil, or ow, forgot that side's still hot. We're going to pour off the water. And if they were larger dandelions, you might actually have to pour the water off more than once. Sometimes they'll get to the point where they have so much, they're so bitter you have to like drain them twice. Now, that might only look like a bite, which it basically is. Maybe a half a bite, but hey, it'll still be delicious. So now, we're just going to add a little salt, a little bit of pepper,
And those dandelions are ready to eat. They're going to be great. I know it. So come out and try this sometime. You guys will like it. Mm, 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 mm. I don't, didn't need that pine needle, though. And one thing that's really cool is you kind of get a little bit of a confidence when you're walking through the woods and going, hey, you know what? I could eat that if I got hungry. So if, you know, some of your food's bad or something like that, you still got some food to eat. Now, I only made just a little bit of this so I could show you guys. The other thing I would be um, cautioning you on, don't eat, you know, like a huge salad's worth of these because you eat too many of them, it could give you the runs. So don't eat too much, but it's awesome stuff. I mean, you could eat 10 times what I just ate and you wouldn't have any problems at all, but mm, absolutely delicious. Very nice, delicate flavor. I didn't overcook them, so they still got just a little bit of a crunch. Absolutely delicious. And something I can enjoy anytime in the spring. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna do more videos on edible greens and stuff. I've just been doing more research and stuff and I wanna make sure I know as much as I can before I share it with you. I don't wanna tell you guys something that's gonna hurt you. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Hit that like button. That helps support the channel so more people will watch it. And if you thought it was really cool and you're like, whoa, that was pretty cool. I wonder if he's got some more videos. I do, a bunch. Hit that subscribe button. You can check them all out. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.